the gang have been locked up for nearly 50 years after a boxer was stabbed in the heart. Anthony Dodson was left with life-threatening injuries after fighting broke out in a Liverpool city centre nightclub before spilling out onto the street. Some of those who became embroiled in the vicious incident burned their designer clothing in a park and attempted to flee to France as illegal stowaways on a lorry in the aftermath of the near-fatal assault. Eight defendants, Mill Critchley, Adam Draper, Lee Duffy, Jordan Kinsella, Eugene Mason Lamb, George Miller and Cameron Quinn and a 17-year-old boy were convicted of offences including unlawful wounding and violent disorder in connection with the early hours brawl following a trial at Liverpool Crown Court. They returned to the same court for sentencing today with six of the gang handed custodial sentences totalling 46 years this afternoon. One was spared an immediate prison sentence while the youth is going to be learning his fate tomorrow. Sentencing judge Stuart Driver KC said a punch thrown by George Miller sparked violent disorder inside the club involving several of these defendants. In an incident, one man was struck with a bottle and kicked whilst he was on the ground and the bottle was then used by throwing to wound the scalp of another man. A knife was brandished. Most of the defendants were ejected but remained outside and a few minutes later, one of the victims came out and he was attacked by about half a dozen men who had at least three weapons, which was a knife, a sharp piece of glass and a large fan and he suffered a scalp wound and other injuries. His friend tried to protect him and he was stabbed in the back with a piece of glass and slashed at with a knife. The victim then went back inside and the defendants grouped waiting outside for them. Some minutes later, the four victims came out and were confronted by a much larger group. The footage showed the small group walking backwards, backing away as the large group advanced towards them, throwing missiles. Anthony Dodson became separated and alone and he was surrounded and he was punched, kicked and stabbed. His injuries were certainly life-threatening. He's lucky to be alive. The emergency services reached him almost immediately as he lay on the streets. Had they not, it is likely that the family would have suffered a tragedy and these defendants would have faced murder charges. He has not made a full recovery. One eyewitness described these defendants as behaving like a pack of animals. He said no reasonable person could disagree with that. It was a group attack of 10 on 1. In each case, it is mitigated by the fact that each defendant did not actually inflict the knife wound. Stephen Ball told the jury of nine men and three women during the prosecution's opening that Mr Dodson was found collapsed at the junction of Church Street and Whitechapel at around 5 o'clock in the morning on December the 27th last year, having been stabbed twice in the heart and twice more near to the armpit. The 21-year-old was not breathing and had gone into cardiac arrest, but his life was saved thanks to the intervention of brave medics. He had early been out celebrating Boxing Night with a group of friends, some of whom also suffered serious injuries during the altercation. One friend was stabbed to his lower back, whilst another was struck to the head and left with a large gash. The fourth casualty got away relatively unscathed after apparently having a bottle of Disarano thrown at his head inside the bar. They and the group, also including a few of the men, had visited the safe house on Victoria Street while the defendants were part of a large group of men and women who arrived in dribs and drabs at around quarter to three in the morning. But by 5am things turned ugly inside the bar with the prosecutors telling the court this safe house was anything but. The violence with which we are concerned started inside the bar but was to continue shortly afterwards out on the streets. These victims were unarmed, outnumbered and outmaneuvered. Punches and kicks were supplemented by the use of knives, bottles and improvised weapons that simply came to hand. The violent scenes were said to have been sparked when one of the victims was punched by Miller and Draper after which a 19-year-old Duffy was seen to brandish a knife. Prosecutor reportedly tried, said that some of the group tried to break up the fight but one of the lads was hit on the head with a bottle of Disarono, which was thrown by Quinn. As the victim fell to the floor as a result of the assault, after which Duffy and then the 16-year-old Ruth joined in the violence by using their feet. Door staff intervened at this stage and Critchley Duffy, Kinsella Miller Quinn and the boy and three unknown males were ejected from the premises onto Peter Street alongside several women who were in their company. The group then made their way onto Victoria Street, some entering a taxi for exiting again without the vehicle having moved. Duffy was subsequently seen on CCTV footage with a shiny metal object, allegedly the same knife he was accused of carrying inside the club in his hand and intent on more trouble and upping the ante. Several members of their party attempted to 
gained re-entry to the premises before Critchley Duffy Kinsella, Miller, Quinn, the teenager and several unidentified men returned to Peter Street. When one of the victims left the bar, alongside a few of his pals, he was chased down the street by his assailants. Critchley Duffy and Kinsella were said to have been at the vanguard of this group. The complainant tried to reason with them but had no choice but to put his fists up and tried to defend himself but was soon set upon by the pack with several kicks and punches being thrown. The teenager in this violent group was described as being out of control and off his head and he prepared to use what he had in his hands on others and he picked up a bottle and he launched it at the group. He then armed himself with a metal base of a fan and rejoined the fray by wildly and repeatedly swinging it at one of the victims allegedly leaving him with a deep gash to his head. Meanwhile, another mate attempted to defend his friend from the assault but he was stabbed in the lower back by Quinn before Duffy lashed out at him slashing with a knife without making contact. Security at the bar then intervened once more with 21-year-old Critchley swinging punches towards the doorman. Duffy then aimed a snide and heavy blow at one of the victim's head and was being led away to safety. He was bundled back into the safe house as a worked up Critchley Duffy, Kinsella Quinn and the youth attempted to get back into the club and then waited outside again for an opportunity to attack. So it was at this point that Mr Dodson came out of the club and was confronted by at least 10 men who were laying wait. The men hurled objects in the direction of Mr Dodson and his group and Mr Dodson was caught and punched by an unknown male. And then Critchley Jones Miller and the boy were said to have been right in the thick of it for Duffy and Kinsella also became involved in the violence. Mr Dodson was then surrounded by his assailants and he was stabbed to the chest as there was another man who was acting as a lookout. The incident thereafter continued on to Whitechapel where the defence was said to have searched in wheelie bins for objects to pick up and throw. Miller was seen on CCTV to push and kick Mr Dodson and exchange punches with another man. Mason Lamb's behaviour was described as excitable while Critchley was positioned at the front of the group with an item in his hands, allegedly a lock knife. Duffy was also seen to aim punches at Mr one of the victims before throwing an object towards the rival group near to the Met Quarter. Mr Dodson was able to escape the Church Street where he collapsed as a result of his injuries and Miller and Duffy were meanwhile seen shadow boxing as they walked off whilst showing off in high spirits and celebrating the violence that they had been part of just moments before. So the sentencings are as follows. Critchley was told he must serve jail for 10 years. There was Draper, he was handed four years, you got Miller, you got 10 years, Quinn, you got 12 years, you got Kinsella, you got four years, you got Mason Lamb, he was under a 15 month imprisonment, suspended for 18 months. And as I said, the youth is going to be sentenced tomorrow. And Duffy got six years, the Young Offenders Institute, there's a new story coming in, it's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.